Hello and welcome back to Kante. My name is Gigosar and we're going to load this game. And we're going to load that. Uh, yes. Last time we were in this jerk's room and... So, can you see everything from here? So, can you see everything from here? Not everything. Mr. Otten's office is strictly off limits. Very private, you know. No one knows what he does in there. Oh? He folds his arms, crosses his chest, and uh, goes, goals. As if it isn't obvious. Obvious is what's obvious? Mr. Otten never likes to be far from his booze. His solution to anything stressful is to drink it away. That's interesting. Of course, he tries to hide it because it's not very professional, but every time he walks out of that room, he reeks of alcohol. That's interesting. Does this one work on that? I missed that. Let's see here. Uh, turn. Menu. Let's do that again. Are you sure? Yes. Can you see everything from here? Can you, see everything? Can you see everything from here? Not everything. Mr. Otten's office is strictly off limits. Very private, you know. No one knows what he does in there. That's interesting. Falls his arm uh, and skulls. As if it isn't obvious. As if it's obvious. Obvious and what's obvious? Mr. Otten never likes to be far from his booze. His solution to anything stressful is to drink it away. That's interesting. Of course, he tries to hide it because it's not very professional, but every time he walks out of that room, he reeks of alcohol. Interesting. So that was... I didn't miss anything. Uh, can you think of a reason why someone uh, want uh, Mr. Orton dead? You're kidding, right? No, I'm not. Um, no? You must be new around here. Mr. Otten's infamous around these parts. Is he? He's a ruthless sort of dude. Any little guy tries to start something new, he crushes him. That's not kind at all. Poaches employees, spreads rumors, heck, he's even brought in the courts multiple times. What? He'll say that these other companies are infringing on his trademark or something equally stupid. <laughs> of course, that's only the stuff we know about. He's actually he's a pretty much a um, Steve Jobs, an asshole, a royal fucking asshole. If you ask me, he's got more than just dirty business practices going on. I mean, seriously, look at this place. No one builds a house like this in the middle of nowhere unless he's got something to hide. Also, his house looks like a phallus, if you look at over there. If he's not doing something illegal, I'll eat my motherboard. Oh, you will eat your motherboard. Why do you work for Mr. Orson? If you fucking hate this fucking job of yours, if you hate Mr. Orson, as you most obviously do not like him at all. Why would you fucking work for him? <sighs> Why do you work for Mr. Orson? The money. Duh. Uh, but he said he's probably doing something illegal. Doesn't that bother you? But you said he's probably doing something illegal. Doesn't that bother you? Never actually witnessed him do anything illegal. And maintaining his security system is harmless. Granted. So even if he goes down, I can't be held responsible for anything. I like you. Uh, in other words, you don't really care where the money comes from as long as you don't get in trouble. Yeah, pretty much. Why, should I? I don't know. I started to think that I'm going, going to like I'm not going to like anyone in this house. If there are people Mr. Orton surra um, surrounds himself with, I can't imagine the sort of people 
he tries to hide from. How do you get this job? Mr. Otten offered it to me. That's absolutely strange, actually. Why would someone ask someone... How? Really? Well, yeah. He handpicks everyone who works for him. He is a control freak. How'd he find you? I graduated in the top of my class at a university he funds. He offered this job to me straight out of college. He's a fucking wanker. No, um... He offered the job straight out of college. That's actually quite... Strange. Yep, that's pretty lucky. Yeah, that's the word for it. <laughs> you don't seem to like your job at all. Mr. Kevin. Oh, am I imagining things or is he um, restful about... Uh, resentful about something? Yeah, that's all for now. Come by if you want to ask me anything else. Sure, man. The uh, examine room. I doubt you should know, poke around with all the stuff. I probably should wait for him when he's not around. Well, yeah. Move. Yes, key GTFO. Move. Uh, where the hell do I? Is it this way? No. This way. That was back to the lobby area, right? Move up. Move. I can't move. Mm. Why can't I do that? Uh, examine. Some sort of uh, screen art is looks like very. Oh, there's an old door of not office. Uh, I okay. Um. I don't know. Move there. Kitchen. The atmosphere is very. In <clears throat> the atmosphere in the kitchen is is tense. The sounds of my footsteps sound un uh, usually loud as the uh, on the tile floor. H hey. Hey. Oh fuck! Why is he here? At least his sister is good looking, but he's just a. Nauki welcomes me with a half-hearted smile. Sophia is standing at the other end of the kitchen, sipping slowly on a cup of tea. Her eyes doesn't waver from the small cup in her hands. I lean towards Nauki. Is she okay? Um, I think so. She's not crying as much, at least. Okay, that's good. Sophia's fa face is, a, is still pale, but she looks a lot better than she did when we first found her. Oh, Kangai. First found her body. Kangai. Yes? I hope you don't mind if I ask you something. Sh 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 sure. Um, no. Go ahead. How did you know that something bad happened to Mr. Alton? I... Um, that's... Naoki, please. I was asking Kangai. Mm. Sorry. So, how did you know? I guess you could say I have sort of a sixth sense? Uh, um, I guess like you could say I have sort of a sixth sense? A sixth sense? As in psychic? Uh, I guess you could call it that. Can you give me details on how it works? Uh, whoa, she actually sounds like she might believe me. I can't really say, I just feel things, get sick sometimes and then know... Uh, and then I know something bad has happened. Naoki stares hard at me, as if I should keep quiet. I guess just talking about my kansei is just a bad idea. 
I still feel as if she deserves at least a partial truth. Look at his face. Looks like a fucking wanker. I see. I suppose it's different then. What? Different how? Different from what? Many years ago, Mr. Alton experimented with extending the mental capacities of human beings. Oh? Um, right. That's probably why he was so fucking afraid of me. It's not like what you described, though. Right. What sort of experiments? That's what I want to know. I don't really know much about it. It was a long time ago, before I started working for him. Oh? He just mentioned it in passing once, so I thought maybe that had something to do with it. He was terribly drunk at the time, though, so I suppose he might not have even been telling the truth. That's strange. I'm sorry, I'm jumping to the strangest conclusions here. I must not be in a very good frame of mind right now. Oh? You seem very... You don't seem very distracted at all, so... That's at least not your voice. Sylvia sighs and shuts her eyes. She looks like she wants to cry again. So sorry, I'm sorry, uh, are you really... Uh, you really cared for, about Mr. Ort Orton, didn't you? For a moment, Sophia doesn't respond. Her shoulders shrugs as she takes a deep breath. Finally, she opens her eyes and speaks in barely more than a whisper. I don't know what I'm going to do now that he's gone. Oh. You just don't know what you're going to do. Pers a personal assistant is pretty much fucked. You're pretty much fucked, you know, because you have a fucking job where you basically were the helper to one guy. Oh, well. I'm so sorry. Oh. Naoki uh, places a gentle hand on Sophia's shoulder. For a moment, I feel strange. She definitely sounds sin sincere, but something about what she just uh, said sounds off. Yeah, it does. I'm sorry. I just really want to find the person who did this. If there's anything you need to know, just ask, okay? I will. Sh sure, yeah, sure, thanks. Let's see here. Ah, yes, I have to examine the room. A spoon with a hole in the bottom, probably used uh, for ser uh, for serving soups. But perf what? A spoon with a hole in the bottom, probably used, probably not used to serve soup. Serving soup, but perfectly for straining pasta. Normal kettle. Hot tea is there. Now, Nauki probably made it. Yeah. Gas stove, commercial grade. Spoons and spatlers. A microwave, very clean. Sophia really keeps things tidy around here. And nothing up there. Mm. No. I don't want to. Err. Move. Mm. Something more I can examine. A jar of salt looking at how large the grains are. I'd guess a kosher. I'd guess kosher. Do you have a Jew? And Dorling in back to the hallway. Dish towels. There's fuck. It's nothing here. Let's talk to Nauki. What do you think about Mr. Orton's death? What do you What do you think about Mr. Orton's death? What do I think? I think it's terrible. Of course you would. I'm 
sorry that you had to see him dead. Well, I mean, how do you, uh, how do you think, who do you think did it? Um, I really can't say. I don't want to make any judgments. So you got a bad judge of character? Is that what you're trying to say? He glances at, at the side and begins to uh, ab ab He glances to the side and begins to abstinently fiddle with his fingers. Can you can <clears throat> can you at least tell me your thoughts on anyone here? Well, Liam is pretty angry with his uncle. His eyebrows went down every time he spoke about him. That's strange. He covered his face when Aki started asking more questions, so he's got something to hide. Oh? I'm pretty sure Marissa's hiding something too. Every time she smiles, her eyebrows go up, as if she's worried. Right. After she finished her interview with Mr. Otten, she was even more nervous than before. Naoki glances at Sophia before leaning in and whispering. Sophia was pretty frustrated when we came, but now she's really anxious. She won't stop pacing back and forth. I think that's pretty fucking normal for someone who just lost some f lost her income, basically. And what about Kevin? You mean that guy with the red hair? Yeah. I didn't really get to see his face. Sorry. That's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm just curious, really. Uh, it's good enough that you know this much. Uh, I, I'm kind of impressed. I've been studying body language for a while now. Good for you. Oh, okay, thanks. Feel free to come talk more if you want. Sure, I'm not. I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Let's see here. Up here. Oh. Let's talk to her. Lee May is gazing blankly in the, direc uh, in the direction of a collection of old uh, plates. Okay, those plates probably. I approach, but she barely seems to notice my presence. Um, hey. Lee May blinks slowly and turns to face me. She nods nods once to, to acknowledge my presence. I shift my weight from one foot to the next as she uh, starts as she stares at me expectingly. What am I even supposed to say? How are you feeling? She stares at me with a mi mixture of surprise and confusion. That face. What the fuck? I don't know. Oh, of course you wouldn't. And I'm psychic. She stares at. Uh, she states it so simply. I almost feel foolish for asking. I guess. I guess I just wanted. Uh, wondering if you were okay. Since someone died after all. She tilted her head and looked at me curiously. Does it bother you? It, it sure does bother me. What uh, does bother me? Death. Hmm. Not really, I guess I'm used to it by now. <sighs> I'm going to save here. Uh, return. Uh, not really. I guess I'm used to it by now. If I was... Was if I was this uh, can guy, this Mr. Exclam this Mr. Question Mark person, the I character, I'd probably be pretty used to it by now. Not really. I guess I'm used to it by now. I still think it's sad, but I kind of, but I'm kind of numb to it all. I stare at my hands and rub my fingers slowly together. 
My palms feel sweaty. What about you? Limei stares at me curiously, as if she doesn't fully understand my question. I mean, are you bothered by death? She fidgets and uh, examines her open palms the same way as I just did, slowly. She rubs, slowly she rubs together her fingertips, as if she, uh, she's never seen her hands before. Finally, she, she speaks. He was very scared. Miss Orson? Yes, but even though I felt his fear, I knew that I was not scared. That's good. At least you can separate other people's feelings from your own, Lee May. I'm not scared, but I still feel scared. Does that mean I'm bothered or not bothered? I'm not scared, but I feel scared. Does that mean I'm bothered, not bothered? Who knows, Lee May? Mrs. Lee? I sigh and lean against the door frame. You know, I've always wondered what it would feel like to die. Lee May tilts her, her head to the side. She looks curious. I mean... I've experienced deaths, of course, but I, but they're not mine. And somewhere in the back of my mind, where every time I do it, I always know it's not mine. Um, I should probably have said, every time it happens, instead of I do it, because, anyway. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, uh, my father just entered my room and started saying something. Anyway, uh, let's continue. I've always wondered, when I die, will I be afraid? Will I think that it's just someone else's death again? Or maybe by the end, by the time I die, I'll be so comfortable with it. I won't care, even though I know it's mine. Well, Mr. Kanga, you're fucked up. That's all I have to say. I turn my face to Li Mei. She watches my face carefully. I don't know... Um, I know that wasn't really an answer, huh? I laugh and shrug cautiously. Honestly, I don't even know why I... Uh, said any of that. I guess that I'm trying to say is that there's isn't... I, I guess that what I'm trying to say is that there isn't uh, really an answer. And you and I both have to carry other people's emotions. It's tiring and sometimes it's confusing. But I think that if we uh, don't have uh, didn't have these abilities we'd still be sad when other people are sad and scared when other people are scared that's just being human it's called empathy he may smiles and takes my hand in hers thank you thank you Lee may this is a that's really nice of you <laughs> Um, sure. You're welcome. Look at his face! Look at it! I would have been smiling instead of looking like that. Anyway. <sighs> is everybody feeling... What is everybody feeling right now? What did you do before leaving... I would probably ask that first. What did you do before you lived with the Aki and Naoki. Aki and Naoki. Two bloody names. I'm not allowed to speak about that. Right. You probably... Okay, I'm not going to fucking ask. Mm, is there anything that you are allowed to speak about? He may close her eyes and take a small breath. 
lips move slowly as if she's pondering over the list of things she isn't allowed to chair. Finally she opens her eyes and smiles with half satisfied look on her face. I'm authorized to share anything that might aid your investigation. Right. That's not helpful. Whoa, what's that phrase? She sounds so formal all of a sudden. But she's smiling. <sighs> what she does next? Um Yeah, what's everybody feeling right now? What's everybody feeling right now? Dots? Now he is scared. As always, he's scared of everything. No, I meant the others, not our friends. Oh. I apologize. I apologize. Why did she blush? I don't get that. Oh well. That's fine. It, I wasn't very specific. Li Mei takes a deep breath and closes her eyes again. This time it takes her a little longer to uh, sort out her thoughts. Sophia is sad. She feels as if there is no hope, but there is also relief. Right. So she is actually just... She doesn't like her job probably and um, she feels scared. She feels sad because there's no hope, because she has just lost her employment. Right. Relief. Again, I feel un uneasy, uneasy about Sophia. Earlier when I, s when I asked her if she cared about Mr. Orton, she didn't actually answer me. All she, sh all she said was that she didn't know what she'd do now that he's gone. I don't know why that bugs me so much, but but it seems like she was avoiding the question. Marissa is scared and disappointed. Marissa is scared and disappointed. Was Marissa that girl that was the reporter? There's so much emotion inside of her. It's all flowing at the same time. She wants to be happy, but she also feels very guilty. What? Pretty much everybody knows that Michelle was murdered. Blah, blah, blah. For God's sake, can not ever add the. When you meet a person, you get a bio on them, because that would be fucking helpful right now. Uh, Marissa, 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 I think that that was the reporter, the reporter gal. Humans are very complicated. Indeed they are, Miss Lee, indeed they are. Lee May nods earnestly as if she uh, just uh, struck a new idea. I nod in return. Kevin is uncertain. He does not know what he should be feeling. Of course he wouldn't. He's a fucking nerd. We nerds don't feel shit. No. Uh, he definitely seems to have uh, trouble believing me when I told him that Miss Orton died. Dan, uh, denial, I guess. And Liam? Liam. I can't. You can't? What's wrong? He's with Aki right now. He's with Aki? Oh, fuck you. She is manipulating his emotions with her Kansei. I cannot tell what is his and what is not. Uh, oh. Thank you, Aki, for being such a fucking noob. Aki. That girl seems to enjoy invading people's uh, everybody's privacy. It's a wonder that now it's n it's a wonder that now can Lee may put up with her. Hopefully, whenever she's up, uh, uh, hopefully whatever she's up to will lead to something useful. 
Let's see here. What does the cali cali calligraphy uh, in the front hallway say? No dust settles here. It means that this place is quiet and safe from influence of the outside world. That's fucking disconcerting. So fucking disconcerting. No dust settles here. Um, okay. It's like a fucking cult, basically. What do you know about the, the artifacts in this place? Do you know uh, much about the artifacts in this place? Ye may nod. Um, could you maybe tell me about them? If you wish. If you wish. Yeah, I do. Most are safety charms meant to ward off danger. Okay. I turn to the large tapestry on the wall. So what about this? What are these animals? They are the four legendary creatures. Tortoise, dragon, phoenix and tiger. What mythology is this? Because the phoenix is, is, is as far as I know, Arabic mythology. The turtle is, is, of course, it's uh, a Hindu. Tiger and dragon, that's uh, Asian. Asian? For some reason, this mythology feels familiar, but I'm not sure why. It's not uh, always I've... Uh, it's not anything I've ever studied. Um, do they stand for anything in particular? Many things. Seasons, directions on the compass, sometimes schools of thought. Of course. Anyway, I thought that Phoenix was Arabic. Me? Perhaps, the, uh, perhaps it's something that um, exists in many other cultures too. Overall, they represent balance. Of course they do. It's weird. They feel kind of familiar, especially the tiger. The tiger and the dragon are mortal enemies. Yep, they're al always mortal enemies. If you don't know what's that about, um, well, we'll have to find out. It's because those two always compete for the top position. That's why, if you're wondering. Lee Mei re reaches out as if to touch her, uh, touch the tapestry, but she hesitates and draws her hands back. The dragon represents cunning and intelligence, and the tiger represents raw power and strength. I didn't know that actually. That's but I'm actually not cunning and I'm not and I'm intelligent, but not very cunning. So, but I am a dragon actually. I'm born in the year of the dragon. Tiger represents raw power and strength. Do I know a tiger? I don't know. Dragon and tiger. Mind and body. Oh. That. They fight each other constantly. But neither can win. That explains a lot. My stomach tightens up as I look at a tapestry hanging on the wall. An endless fight when neither can win. Li Mei watches me carefully. She's trying to decipher my emotions, but I can't even fully understand what I'm feeling. What bothers you? I'm not sure. It's probably nothing. Li Mei doesn't seem satisfied with my response. No surprise there, since I'm not satisfied either. I don't really have anything else to say, though, so our conversa conversation devolves into an uncomfortable silence. Talk to you later. This Kansei guy is probably not that very... Um, is here that very... Um, how should I say? Um, polite in his way of speaking, but that's okay. He's an American after all. See you later, miss. She nods. 
salmon room. Uh, save. So, this has been um, Kansei, and uh, I will see you next time. Uh, this has been episode something something, episode 3. Three. I've made three episodes, Gigo. But, okay. See you later. Bye. Sleep well. Sleep tight. Bye. Bye. I said sleep.